Hey everybody, it is week 12 and we are taking on Miami for the second time. It's our big rematch game since they are our ACC uh, opponent, one of our ACC opponents. No, it's not realistic for Cincinnati, but I did stick them in the ACC for the season. Kind of ran out of room in other conferences, so uh, we'll have to play Cincinnati twice, Florida State twice, and Clemson twice. We've already played uh, Miami and Clemson already once. So uh, we're taking on Miami the second time, and then later we will take on Clemson the second time. I've yet to see what Florida State is like this season, so... Pass to Wiggins and a fumble and a turnover. Okay, well, I was about to get excited about the first down pass, only to then have it turn over, so that's not good. 7-0 to zero now. Miami, I think, wants a little bit of revenge after we beat them last time. So here we go. Let's take this ball back to the 20. And I'm going to try the running running game. Can I get back to the running game? Uh, that one wasn't very good, but it could have just been a bad play. Let's see if I can't get the running game going again. Wow. The running game has gotten a lot harder as we get closer to the middle of the season for some reason. Try throwing then. D. Wiggins is wide open. Can I get around that defense? Yeah, I got around him. Past the 50-yard line. That should not have been that far. But I got past him. I'll try a long throw if I can. Or not. I got sacked. Let's try another long throw. Okay, that's too dangerous. I'm going to try a throw right there since I've all... Nope, I'm going to throw right there. Perfect. Nice wide open situation there. I did not want to risk throwing interception, so I was a little bit nervous about passing to anybody else. But then my running back got open. Uh, I meant to that a little bit shorter. I got batted down to so second and ten. Ah, I got sacked again. My offensive line is not holding up very well. Oh, and a little bit of miscommunication there. I thought my receiver was going to continue going forward. Fourth and sixteen. I'm going to hope someone gets open. Oh, I get tackled half a yard. I, I pressed the dive button, but I got tackled before I could even dive. Even though I pressed it immediately. So uh, we barely didn't get the first down, and Miami scores based off of the turnover. So 14-0. to zero. We're back in the same situation that we were in with, uh, who was that? Was that, UC was that um, might have been UCF, maybe Cincinnati where I was down by two. Not Cincinnati, I'm Cincinnati. I'm in Oklahoma State. Well, I don't think we were ever down by two touchdowns against Stoke. Well, maybe we were. I can't remember now. Oh, wow. I have no time to throw. Fourth down. So easy to lose track of downs sometimes. Okay. Finally, a conversion on fourth down there. If I could get the running game going, it wouldn't be so bad, but I, I just can't seem to run on this team. <laughs> I got loss of two yards there. So I'm stuck passing, but uh, my receivers aren't quite getting open enough a lot of the time. There we go. Ollie got way down the field. I think he was injured earlier, so I guess it's been four games because he was out for four games. And I'm going to try to get around the defense, and I do. So we're in the red zone. Still a lot of time left, though. I don't want to score too quickly here, or else we'll probably lose this game. I'm going to do a quarterback run with Jones. And I think I can get it to the 10-yard line. I'm going to get short of the first down on purpose because we need as many downs as we can. I still don't think I can even run the clock down that much. So it might be good just to go ahead and score. Well, I think I get sacked. I don't know if it counts as a sack or not. I think I was out of the pocket technically, but quarterback was tackled short of the, the line of scrimmage, I think. I'll just go for an extra point here. And is it good? Oh, it's no good. No. Uh. Okay, at least we held Miami to a field goal, so that could be the difference there. Maybe. I only have 24 seconds to score here, and I haven't been having a lot of good opportunities to throw against this defense, unfortunately. I'm going to throw short. It's my only opportunity to get it to him because he can't outrun the defense. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get to Ollie. Threw it a little bit too late. It's an interception. No. Oh, no. Is he really going to run it all the way back? Tell me he's not going to run it all the way back. Oh, no, he's going to run it all the way back. Wow. I thought for sure they could catch him. So I just threw a pick six there. Okay, this game is not going well. Um, I can't throw far enough to overthrow the defense. My receivers aren't getting wide open. 
and I can't run on this team. So I'm kind of stuck. Looking back, I think the only thing I could have done, I think if I had done a quarterback run every single play, then I probably could have won. But that's probably what it would have taken. And at this point, my only chance of winning is scoring a lot, so I can't even do that at this point. So it'd be nice if my team would cooperate and do their part. But so far they haven't been. They have not been doing their best, I would say. So hopefully, I don't know. I don't think we have a chance. I just don't think we have a chance. But I have been in pretty rough situations before. Maybe we can make this an incredible comeback. Maybe the best in Retro Bowl college football history. <laughs> See how short? I, I cannot throw far enough. It's a really short throw. You know, my maximum distance there. All right, we get the touchdown. At least I have fast receivers. That gives me a chance. I'm going to have to go for two here to make up for the extra point that I missed. And oh, I just underthrew it. I was afraid it was going to be intercepted, so I was throwing it a little bit, uh, what do you call it, low, I guess. Why'd they go for two? They didn't even need to go for two. What was that about? 38 to 12. This might actually be a blowout here. Perfect throw there to Wiggins. I don't think it's going to matter at this point. I'm going to try to go out of bounds. Oh, I can't even get out of bounds. Wow. I thought for sure I was going to get tackled out of bounds there. Diving catch there. All right, they're going to rush, so hopefully I have time to actually throw it. There we go. So it's going to be a touchdown pass. Feels like a little bit too little too late. Thing is, if I had gotten the two-point conversion earlier, it would actually only be a two-score game right now, which means with uh, another score and an onside kick, if, I, if my defense were to get a stop, then technically I'd have a chance, but the problem is it's a three-score game right now. Well, now it's a four-score game, so that Miami just put this game away. They, they not only wanted to get revenge, they wanted to completely get revenge and make me suffer for beating them earlier. Did not see this coming. I didn't think Miami was that great of a team, but wow. I mean, this is this team has really got me perplexed because Georgia, I think, had the best defense that I played. Alabama was the best overall team that I played. But the funny thing was, both those teams, I felt like I could move the ball okay against them. But this Miami team, it just feels like, okay, now I'm starting to get some pop, uh, opp opportunities now that it's in garbage time. It doesn't matter. But earlier in the game, my receivers weren't getting open. I couldn't throw far enough to overthrow the defense, and my running back couldn't do anything. So uh, it felt kind of impossible, actually, which is very rare. I very rarely feel like that in this game. But that it actually feels like a game where I didn't just mess up. It wasn't just like I slipped up. I might have just been outplayed by that Miami team. Very rare that that happens. And I think I just missed, I missed another extra point. Why can I not get an extra point? I'll go for two. Why not try and make it closer? And they'll just use it to score. You're 52 to 26. Uh, the Cincinnati team, they wanted to get to the playoffs. Start, the season started so well. Remained undefeated against Alabama, Clemson, and Georgia. Only for it to go down in flames. This kind of reminds me of the... Uh, well, there's several teams that had seasons like this, but... Kansas uh, a couple years ago had a bad season where uh, actually I guess it was last year no two years ago I think where they were undefeated for like seven weeks they were doing so well beating everybody they beat Texas came within like a tiny little I mean they're so close to beating Oklahoma they probably should have beat Oklahoma and then all of a sudden they lost every game the rest of the year so uh, I feel kind of like that's happened to us where we had an incredible start of a season even with a team that wasn't as good and then all of a sudden it went bad fast so we just lost in a blowout loss. Doesn't happen to us very often, but it did just then. So maybe we can at least hold the season to three losses. That would be really nice. We'll see if it's possible. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week when we take on Michigan.